it's to Kingsway. And you might recognise me from a previous video that I did on food sustainability. In today's video, we're going to be following on from that topic and we're going to be talking about food wastage. So we're coming to the end of January now and I've cleared out my cupboard of all my Christmas treats that I have left over. And I'm just going to combine them together to make a really quick, really simple recipe, which is Rocky Road. So we're still in lockdown. Obviously, the kids are at home and this is a really easy family recipe that anyone can get involved with. And you can use any variation of ingredients, but these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use. So here, I've got 500 grams of chocolate. I've got all different types of chocolate here. I've got white chocolate, Maltese's chocolate, chocolate orange, as well as 100 grams of unsalted butter. In here, I've got 250 grams of cake. I'm using Christmas cake and fruit cake, but you can use any cake you've got, panettone or anything. Next, I've got 150 grams of leftover nuts, as well as some dried fruit. I've also got some popcorn and some marshmallows in there. These are separate from the bowl because I'm going to have to cut them down. Lastly, I've got 200 grams of cookies and Florentines. But again, you can use any variation that you want on this. You could use shortbread or biscotti or anything that you've got in your cupboard. I'm going to chop up my ingredients now and I'm going to crush the biscuits and the Florentines using a rolling pin. Next, I'm going to melt my chocolate and my butter over the bain marie. So as you can see here, I'm breaking up my chocolate. It doesn't have to be too small because we are melting it anyway. And I've roughly chopped my pecans to keep some bite and texture in the rocky roads. And I've also broken up my biscuits and Florentines using a rolling pin. And I've just very simply crumbled the cake using my hands. I'm putting my chocolate in a bowl with my butter, which I'm then gonna melt over the bain marie. I've been careful not to fill the water up too high because you don't want it to touch the bowl because it will burn. My chocolate's melted, I've taken it off the heat and I'm just gonna add all of my ingredients into the bowl and make sure they're coated. So I've combined all of my mixture and I'm now going to transfer it to a brownie tin which I've pre-lined. I'm now going to pat it down to really compress it into the tin to avoid it breaking once it's set. I've just put some popcorn and some marshmallows over the top for some decoration. And I'm now going to leave it in the fridge to set for a few hours before I portion it. And there you have it. Rocky Road, no baking necessary and no half eaten bags of chocolate left in your cupboard. recipes I'm going to be making a variation of an egg custard tart as well as a savoury quiche again taking into consideration how I can make use of my leftovers so I better go on making some short crust pastry so I'm now going to make my short crust pastry in this bowl I've sieved 200 grams of plain flour and I'm going to add half the amount of unsalted butter which I've chilled and cut into cubes I'm then going to rub that in using my fingertips until it resembles fine breadcrumbs now the aim of the game when making pastry is to keep your fingertips as cold as possible so that you don't melt the butter. If you feel your fingertips getting too warm, you can run them under cold water or you can have a bowl of ice water ready, which is what I've got. So when your pastry resembles fine breadcrumbs like this, you need to add some cold water, a tablespoon at a time, to bind it together. So when your mixture looks like this, tip it onto your work surface. and mold it into a ball, but try not to handle it too much. So when you've molded your pastry into a ball, wrap it in some cling film and leave it to chill in the fridge overnight. And I'll see you tomorrow. So my Rocky Rose have been in the fridge overnight now, so I'm just gonna get those out. As you can see, they lift out really easily because of the way that I've lined the tray. So I'm just gonna portion these up now and once they're portioned, they can be stored in an airtight container. So as you can see here, I'm just cutting my Rocky Road into some equal bite-sized pieces now. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can decide how you want to cut them, whether you want them big or small, it's completely up to you. And there you have it, Rocky Roads. These are for now and these are for later. Going back to the short crust pastry, in front of me here, I've got a third of my short crust pastry. The other two thirds are in the fridge, which I'm using for my quiche. Using this, as well as what's left of my Christmas cake, which is about 75 grams, I'm going to be making six little tartlets. 
So to start my dough off, I'm just tapping it with a rolling pin and this not only gives you a nice shape, but it also stops the dough from cracking, which is a tip that I learnt from the boy who bakes. And then after that, I'm just cutting out some circles using a circle cutter. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees fan and I've greased my muffin tray. And I'm now going to put this pastry in there. It's really important to be gentle at this point because the pastry is very delicate. So as you can see, I'm lifting the pastry into the tin rather than pushing it to avoid breakages and stretching the dough. So I'm going to put these in the fridge now whilst I make the filling to avoid them getting too warm and shrinking after we've cooked them. So moving on to the filling now, I'm adding two whole eggs into a large bowl with 150 millilitres of double cream as well as one tablespoon of caster sugar and making sure to combine my ingredients. I've made my mixture now. I'm just going to crumble some of my leftover Christmas cake in the bottom of my tarts and after that I'm going to spoon a couple of tablespoons of mixture into the tart and then it's going to go in the oven. And just before I put it in the oven I'm going to grate some nutmeg over the top to finish it. I'm just going to pop these in the oven now for 20 minutes. So I'm going to get my tartlets out of the oven now, but I'm going to leave the oven at 180 for my quiche. So this is what they look like. I'm going to leave them to cool for five minutes and then I'm going to transfer them to a cooling rack. And there you have it, leftover Christmas cake tarts. These are delicious served hot or cold with cream or custard. I'm going to be making Monica Galetti's leftover quiche. I've got the rest of my pastry here and I've got a 23 centimetre flan tin which I'm going to attempt to line now. Again, you just want to lift it rather than pushing it. You don't want to break the pastry. So I've pushed my pastry down until I've seen the texture of the flan tin coming through. I'm then going to roll over the flan tin to cut the excess off. And then I'll peel that away. It's then important to push the pastry up the sides. And then a crucial step is to dock the pastry. Docking is the process of poking holes in the bottom of the pastry to let steam escape whilst it's blind baking. However, before I blind bake it, I'm going to put it in the freezer to go cold and firm for 10 to 15 minutes. So I've taken my pastry out of the freezer now and it's nice and cold and firm. I've scrunched up my baking parchment and I've got my baking beans. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add these in, spread them around. And I'm going to blind bake this for 20 minutes. So I've taken my pastry out of the oven now. I'm going to remove this. I've beaten two egg yolks here and I'm going to brush my pastry with this and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for a further five minutes until it's golden brown and crispy. So whilst my pastry is crisping up in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make the filling. So we're going to take those two egg yolks that I use for the egg wash and I'm going to combine them with four whole eggs. I'm then going to add 250 millilitres of whole milk as well as salt and pepper and a grating of fresh nutmeg. Move my pastry from the oven and now I need to decrease the heat to 160 and now I'm going to get on with beating my mixture. So here's my pastry. As you can see, there is a little bit of shrinkage, but it is nice and crispy and golden brown. So I'm quite pleased with that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've got 200 grams of mature cheddar cheese here, and I'm gonna sprinkle half of that over the base. 
In these two bowls, I've got 250 grams of leftovers. So here, I've got some leftover sausage and bacon. And in this bowl, I've got some vegetables. So I've got some leek and I've got some carrot. So I'm just gonna put those on top of the cheese. Just sprinkling them around. So now it's time to pour in the egg mixture. And then I'm going to sprinkle over the remaining half of my cheese. So this is the quiche ready to go in the oven now. It needs to go in for about 40 to 50 minutes or until just firm to the touch. So we've come to the end of the video now and here you have three different recipes that you can make using leftovers. So we've got Rocky Road, we've got Christmas cake tarts and we've got a leftovers quiche. Thank you. Mm -hmm.